was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I put together a very special build for y'all in which I'm calling the paint post enforcer and this one's going to come out to the inside the arc thread now out of all nba players it's going to be reminding me of nba legend sean kemp and when it comes to these attributes today we'll get a 99 plus put towards our driving dunk standing dunk block offensive and defensive rebound now we'll also get some upgraded layup packages as well as standing and pro contact dunks. With this build we're going to get a total of 44 badges and this is one of the best slasher builds in all of NBA 2K on next gen. The two way dominance from the offense to the defense cannot be ignored and this build is perfect for any game modes but great for the fives. Now the physicals make this build very overpowered and it's really the perfect Sean Kemp build so look no further without further ado if it's your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family and last but definitely not least comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. So to get started today, we're going to go ahead and put this build under the center position. As far as for that height, let's go with 610. Moving into the weight, I'm going to go with 240 with the wingspan of 78. Now moving forward, it's completely optional if you want to make any type of changes or adjustments along the way. As for when it comes to the physicals, I truly do believe that this is the most important factor moving forward. So let's go ahead and put that speed all the way up to a 73. Getting into the acceleration, I'm going to leave this at a 58. As for that strength, I'm going to go all the way up to a 90. And then for our vertical, I'm going to go all the way up to an 87. Now moving into the stamina, make sure you go with a 92. And do remember, you get a plus 4 from completing the Gatorade Facility Workouts. So we're going to have a 96 stamina, as for the vertical 91, 94 strength, as for the acceleration this will be a 62 with a 77 speed. Now these numbers cannot get any better especially if you're trying to be like Sean Kemp. So the first area that I want to dive into is going to be the defense. Go ahead and put that interior up to a 75, we're going to leave the perimeter at a 43. Moving into the block and steel, really this is optional, I did choose to upgrade the block over our steel for this build. Go ahead and flip flop these if you want to but you may get a different build name. As for when it comes to the block, let's go with an 87. Getting into the offensive rebound, I'm going to go all the way up to a 93. Moving into the defensive, let's go with an 84. Now remember, once you activate your takeover or Mamba mentality badge, that is at least a plus 10 put towards your main 4 attributes. So look, if you buy boost, that's another plus 4. If you wear gear, that's another plus 1 to 2. And if you play well throughout each game, 2k does give you a minor boost just as they would take away some attributes when you are cold. Just something to take into account, but you have a lot of potential to get a 99 from the defensive and offensive rebound as well as our block. So this is what we're going to be looking like on this side of the ball. From here, let's get started with the playmaking. So for that pass accuracy, I'm going to go all the way up to a 77. Now this is pretty much a rule of thumb. Remember, if you add up everything of what I previously did mention, I think you have the potential to get this pass accuracy possibly up into the 80s and 90s. As for the speed with ball, go ahead and put this up to a 40. Leave the ball handle as is, and these numbers are perfect to dribble, as you can see from the beginning of the gameplay and video. So look, let's go ahead and get started with the shooting. This is going to be a very important area, so go with an 82 when it comes towards our mid-range. Getting into the three-pointer, I'm going to go with a 65, so you really do need to have some skill when it comes to hitting consistently from the three-point line on this build. As for that free throw, let's leave this at a 57, and I think these numbers are perfect to move forward. So let's get started with the best part of today's build. Getting into that standy dunk, I'm going to put this all the way up to a 90. As for that driving dunk, I'm going to go with an 89. Now look, 
you have a few different options to go with. I really do think it's best to upgrade your driving layup to an 80. And as you can see, this is what we're going to be looking like for this side of the bow. Now from here, let's get started with these badges. We get Silver Fast Twitch, Gold Precision Dunker, Rise Up, and Aerial Wizard. But for that driving dunk, Silver Posterizer, Slithery, then you get Whistle with Hall of Fame Spin Cycle, Two Step with Gold Bunny, and a lot of other badges. For that layup, a lot of badges that I'm enjoying here, we get Silver Fearless Finisher, Acrobat, also Gold Aerial Wizard with Bunny, then you get Hall of Fame Pro Touch as well as Two Step. I do enjoy Float Game with Giant Slayer and Scooper, but these badges overall for the finishing, I think replicate Sean Camp perfectly. You can be one of the best slashers, especially if you know how to work mechanics on the inside. As for the shooting, this is only going to make the build much better when it comes to the ones. So look, we get blinders as well as Deadeye. Then you also do get spot finder with Silver Whistle again, Space Crater, Midi Magician, Open Looks, and Green Machine. Now I also do like Gold Catch and Shoot, Guard Up with Comeback Kid, a little bit more of the same when it comes towards our 3 pointer, but I think if you add up your takeover and your boost, you have the potential to get this up to a 75 which I think is more than enough to hit consistently. As for when it comes to the playmaking, we get Silver Break Starter, Dimer, Pulse Playmaker, Relay Passer, Special Delivery with Bronze, Touch Passer, and Needle Threader. Now these badges are all that you need to be effective, especially when it comes to that 5 setting. The fact that the court is a little bit longer does make a huge difference and that's why I did have to go with a 77. Now let's get started with the juicy stuff. We get Silver Anchor, Workhorse with Bronze Post Lockdown. Now as for when it comes to the rest of the build, for that block we get Anchor again, Gold Chase Down Artist with Puggle Stick, for the offensive end, Hall of Fame Box Out Beast, Rebound Chaser, Silver Post Playmaker, and this is what we're going to be looking like for today's build. Now if you add up everything of what I previously did mention from the takeover to boost, I truly do think that this is one of the best, not only Sean Kent builds, but slashers in all of NBA 2K on next gen. You have everything needed from the defense, shooting, especially the playmaking, and more so the interior and finishing. So I want to say thank you for those of y'all who made it this far. God bless every one of you. Now let's go ahead and check out this build to make sure that everybody made it correctly. We should be getting these three different comparisons. And as y'all can see together, we were able to create the paint, post enforcer, Coming out to the inside, the arc threat. Now I do enjoy these comparisons, but once you take into account this build maxed out overall, I think you're in store for a true demigod of a slasher. Thank you so much for the support. More so than anything, thank the man above King Jesus for another day and another opportunity. And if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with a response. And with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.